forget building the next big tech startup, because what if I told you you could build a small automated online tool that actually solves a real problem and actually earns you passive income every single month? No big team, no huge budget, and that is the main appeal of micro SaaS. And it is way more achievable than you may think. So in this video, I'll break down exactly what micro SaaS is, also how you can come up with brilliant ideas for your own business and share some that you can start up with today. And I will even show you a tool to bring them to life. So let's get into it. Okay, so first let's get really clear on what exactly we're talking about here. So SaaS means software as a service and you've probably heard of big SaaS products like, you know, Canva, Zoom, Dropbox or Notion where you pay a subscription to use them online. Micro SaaS is like the bite sized version of those and think a web app that solves one specific problem for a small group and is often built by just one or two people. So for example, take Store Mapper. It's an app that just helps shops show their locations online and pulls in $20,000 a month built and run by a single founder. And that's the appeal of micro SaaS. So you don't need a big team or tons of cash. You just pick a niche like freelancers or local cafe phase, build something they'll pay for monthly and grow from there. And because they are so focused, micro SaaS products can often scale with almost no extra effort, which means you can run them alongside your job or your, you know, freelance career, or even while traveling the world or doing whatever you love to do. And the best part here is, is that you don't actually need a tech background to start that and that you don't need to raise the funding for it either. All you need is an actual idea and also the right tools. All right, so how do you actually find a good idea? Well, guys, here is the secret. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. In fact, some of the best micro SaaS ideas aren't flashy at all. They're just really simple tools that fix annoying everyday problems. So you can start with your own life. I mean, so what's something that bugs you every day or every week, let's say? Maybe it's managing your subscriptions, maybe it's scheduling meetings, and maybe you've been thinking, why isn't there an app that that just does something, you know, this. And if it's a problem for you, it's probably a problem for someone else as well. And if you need some more inspiration for this, you can always go listen to what people are complaining about online. I mean, just jump into, you know, Reddit threads like freelance or small business, or just explore Quora questions or, you know, even Facebook groups and just look for comments like, why is this app so bad? Or I wish something existed that could do this or anyone know a better tool for this problem. Those are really gold mines for your ideas. For example, Peter Levels built Nomad List after seeing remote workers complain about finding reliable cities to work from. And he turned a Google Sheet into a 500K year business. You can also scroll Product Hunt or Indie Hackers to see what other solo founders are launching right now. And also, do not forget to read app reviews. If users keep complaining about something, you know, missing, that is your chance to make it better and or simpler. And finally, tools like Google Trends can show you what people are actually searching for. So search for terms like remote work tools or AI productivity and see what is rising right now. And you might spot a gap that's just waiting to be filled. Okay guys, now let's get practical. Here are six micro SaaS ideas you can start building today without any coding at all using tools like Hosting Your Horizons, which I'll talk a little bit more about in just a minute. So first up, an AI powered local SEO tracker. This is for small businesses like coffee shops or gyms who just want to rank higher on Google because about 46% of searches are local, like for example, best bakery near me, but most owners just don't know how they're doing and it uses AI to suggest keywords, you know, monitor competitors and give them simple tips to get more visibility, all from a clean dashboard. And tools like Bright Local do this and make absolutely millions, but you could keep it simple for smaller shops. It's a way to help them get found and bank steady cash, basically. Now, you know that feeling?
thing when you realize you've been paying for six different apps and you only use two. I know I've been guilty of this because I've been paying for Netflix but haven't actually been using it too much. So this app would connect to someone's email or bank account and show them all their subscriptions. You know, Netflix, Spotify, and maybe that one meditation app they forgot about. Basically, it would flag what they're not using, also suggest cheaper alternatives and help them unsubscribe from them. And since there are a lot of people who underestimate how much they spend on subscriptions and over 40% forget to cancel a subscription they don't actually use anymore, no doubt this would be just a lifesaver and offer a free version and charge $5 a month for extras like spending alerts or something like that. For example, Rocket Money has millions of users, but a basic web app could focus on just tracking. People would check it often and that's recurring revenue for you. All right, so idea number three now is an AI customer feedback analyzer. Now, this is for small businesses like cafes or online stores who just want to know what customers think without reading every single review out there. Your web app would just collect feedback through forums and show summaries on a dashboard like customers love your coffee but want faster service or something like that. And that kind of insight is powerful for businesses. And I mean, this is something business owners would happily pay, you know, somewhere between 10 to $20 a month for. For example, Yotpo does this for e-commerce earning over $100 million a year. But I mean, you could make a lean version for smaller shops. It's a tool to help them grow and keep your subscriptions rolling. Now, moving on to number four, which is a financial management tool for small businesses. Now, this is for owners like freelancers or shopkeepers who just want to track spending and save money. Unlike Excel spreadsheets, this one actually gives you insights, not just numbers, but your web app would show expenses like rent or supplies and use AI to suggest cost cutting like, you know, for example, save $50 on utilities. And it and also let them create invoices for clients right in the app. You could charge something like $15 a month for unlimited tracking, also suggestions and invoices, or just $5 for basic tracking with a few invoices. I mean, Wave does this and earns over $40 million a year, but you could simplify it for tiny businesses with 99% of businesses being small. So it's a tool that they would definitely use daily. Up next on the list is a niche content planner. Now this is for solopreneurs like fitness coaches or realtors who just struggle to plan social media or blog posts. Now your web app would suggest post ideas, hashtags and schedules for their niche shown just on a calendar. I mean, this would be as if Notion and ChatGPT had a baby, but build just for them. So you could charge something like $15 a month for unlimited plans or $5 for one niche with a free trial for a sample calendar. Now, Content Cal was acquired for millions helping businesses plan content, but you could focus on a group just like bloggers, for example, and it's something they'd use weekly for sure, and that is reliable subscriptions for you. And lastly, what about an invoice generator for freelancers and micro businesses like designers, tutors, or anyone who need to send professional invoices really fast? And your web app would let them create customized invoices with their logo and track what's paid and send auto reminders for late payments as well. Because I mean, let's be honest, getting paid faster is something every single freelancer wants. So you could charge, you know, say $8 a month for unlimited invoices and reminders or $3 for up to 10 invoices with a free trial for five. Once again, an example here, Invoice Ninja does this and pulls in over a million yearly, but you could make it even simpler for solopreneurs with 59 million freelancers out there. It's a tool they'd lean on to get paid quicker for sure. Okay, now if you're wondering, okay, but how do I build the MVP if I don't know how to actually code? Hmm. Well, let me introduce you to Hosting Your Horizons. It is our brand new web app builder powered by AI and it lets you turn your ideas to live apps in no time. 
All you have to do is just describe what you want to build and it helps you design the structure, add the features, set up a database, and it even handles payments or other AI and LLM integrations via API keys. And all of this is done hassle-free by just talking with Horizons. And you can check out this video to see how you can build your web app with Horizons to see it in actual action. And you can start with a free trial, and if you don't love it, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee as well, so you can try it completely risk-free. And if you want to try it out, just hit the link in the description below, and also don't forget to use our code HZN10 for an extra 10% off your purchase. And once you have started, you know, playing around with Horizons, we've got a Discord community where you can ask all the questions, you know, share your project, or get help from other creators. All building cool stuff just like you, and you know, there's tons of other fun, cool stuff in that community. And the link for that will also be in the description below. So there you have it, guys. I really hope this video helped you understand micro SaaS just a little bit better and maybe even sparked some ideas or inspiration of your own. And if you're already thinking of something you'd like to build, please let me know in the comments below because I would really love to see what you're working on or, you know, dreaming up there. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we've got plenty more videos coming your way to help you go from an idea to launch to your first paying users. And speaking of that, if you're wondering how to actually get people to find and use your app, our next video is all about marketing strategies for your web app. So be sure to check it out. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.